I learned too much about you too soon because I couldn't wait. Yes, I internet stalked you to the point that we can no longer date. Cause I know your mother's name and your father's name and your sister's name and your cousin's husband's name. I know that your uncle recently passed away. And I'm so sorry about that, babe. I know every girl that you've ever dated and the exact day you stopped being happy, your posture changed. I know that you and your friends hike a lot. It's too much. We'll change that. I've seen every photo tagged of you on the entire internet. I know your major in college, your Spanish is polished, and you own approximately five shirts. The police are outside my door, and I'm clutching your hand doll I made on the If they ever tell people how often other people look at their profiles, I will kill myself. <laughs> so goodbye, lover I star. The U.S. Mint is not innocent, much like every other institution in this country. John Sinek, sneak by. He is credited for this portrait on the dime. It's a bust of FDR from the side, and it looks exactly like Dr. Selma Burke's design. Did they credit her? called it a creative coincidence. <laughs> they didn't pay her one dime, the dime that she designed. And then the rest of her life, I assume she refused to use a dime. Or if she stressed you know like watching the news and stuff um, I'm against global warming you know just something about me and I uh, I wrote this little ditty for myself to calm myself down when I'm getting too anxious it goes um because everyone hates our generation and we're all going to die no I don't hold a lot of beliefs just sort of in general but I I do believe this. <clears throat> Everyone should be my exact same age. No older, no younger. Everyone is perfect in their own way, but younger people are bad. Yes, even slightly younger people are bad. Everyone should be my exact same age. No smarter, no dumber. Everyone should be born on the same day and they should have the same mother. 
They should all be named Marsha And they should look exactly like me Everyone should be me Yeah! Come on! Woo. When people don't understand my references I freak out, I lose control When you told me you were 22 I remembered that time forgets us all. <clears throat> Woo! Everyone should be my exact same age and no more successful. Your success actually does mean less for me And that's disrespectful Everyone just relax And give your success to me Everyone just be me You make me remember that I'm gonna die And that people will move on faster than I would like Yeah! Everyone, everyone should be my exact same age. Everyone should be my exact same age. Look under your chairs, there's a pill that I want you to take. Everyone should be my exact same age. Everyone should be. Everyone should be. Everyone should be. I'm always so scared I'm not gonna hit that last note, but I always do. I always do. Uh. I'm still learning guitar, so if any men want to give me tips in the comments, that'd be really helpful. Nineteen sixty seven, Boston Marathon. 19-year-old Catherine Switzer started to run, but one official said no. Her uterus could fall out, it'll turn into a whole thing. Besides, I bet she doesn't even know how to have diarrhea down the side of her shorts properly. That official's name was Jock Semper. That's right, his first name was just Jock. Catherine's boyfriend tackled him, then immediately got scared it would ruin his Olympic chances and breaks up with Catherine mid-race. But she keeps her pace, they said, let's all chase her until she stops running. If we yell, Violently as a woman, I'm sure her instinct will be to slow down. So let's all chase her. Hold on, she's running faster now. All she wanted was to run 30 miles and possibly shit her pants in the streets of Boston. That's every American's right. Man, woman, or child. Catherine, she finished the race. And now female athletes are all treated great. Shout out to the NCAA. Run, Catherine, run. A woman should be able to shit herself in Boston without worrying about sexism. This last song um, is the story about the first American woman to ever go to space, Sally Ride. <clears throat> <laughs> 
Remember when NASA sent a woman to space for only six days and they gave her 100 tampons. 100 tampons. <laughs> and they asked, will that be enough? Cause they didn't know if that was enough These are our nation's greatest minds They are literally rocket scientists They also tied the tampons together By the strings like sausages 100 tampons 100 tampons I can picture it now Come with me. I'm Sally Ride and I'm going to space for the first time. I'm walking tall. I feel so proud. Then I see a man running panic through the crowd. He's holding a large bag. I think, what can this be? And then he hands 100 tampons to me. And then he hands 100 tampons to me for one week. They could have asked me. I would have said maybe 33. Cause even if it were my period week, I probably already brought some with me. <laughs> but, you know. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> 100 tampons, how does she use a tampon when they tie the strings together? 100 tampons, don't hate me. 525,600 tampons, everybody. 525,000 tampons in space. Uh.
it never went.